separate lessons for you to teach a like very very special lesson in our teaching this is an important lesson which teaches you such a lesson okay nammal ulkalanda oru lesson nammal padikkina oru oru chapter in there you have to read it very carefully understand it in that sense okay see um, there are some people uh, near our household who are very good in certain works like uh, a cobbler if it is a tailor if it is no uh, see you have seen your parents your mother or your aunt or whoever it is they stitch their dress only from their particular tailoring shop why is it it's not because uh, they use such fine fine machinery this that and that it's because of their dedication like ah work not the dedication that makes that uh, final product very good le appo avare etra time eduthal ivare konde enna cheyikkina enna kaaranam quality but nowadays in the modern world we don't have time to wait for all that appo nammal endu we just go after the advertisement advertisement nammal orkare illa advertisement chelavaakuna kaasinne avare avunde laabam kaamshikkunna nammal aalikkine illa അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അവർ ക്വാളിറ്റിയിൽ അത്രയധികം നിബന്ധനകളും വെക്കില്ലേ അപ്പം ദിസ് ലെസൺ ഷോസ് യു ഇങ്ങനെ ക്വാളിറ്റി വല്ലാതെ അഡമെൻ്റായിട്ട് താങ്ങി പിടിച്ച ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ്റെ ദയനീയമായ അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു കാരണക്കാരെ ആ ക്വാളിറ്റി മനസ്സിലാക്കാതെ വേറെ ലൈൻ പിന്നാലെ പറയുന്ന നമ്മളെപ്പോലെയുള്ള കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സും കൂടിയാണെന്ന് ഈ ലെസൺ നമ്മളെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുക അപ്പം നമ്മളൊരു ഉൾക്കാഴ്ച നമുക്ക് തരിക എന്തൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ഈ സൊസൈറ്റിയിൽ ജീവിക്കുന്നു ഇതിനൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് കൊടുക്കണം കുറേ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ളവർക്ക് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് കൊടുത്തിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ അവരുടെ ജീവിതം ഇത്ര അങ്ങനത്തെ താവില്ലായിരുന്നു അല്ലെ കുറേ പേര് കർഷകർ ആത്മഹത്യ ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇത് അവർ അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുന്നു എന്ന് ആലോചിക്കുമ്പം ഈ ക്വാളിറ്റിക്ക് നിർബന്ധം പിടിച്ച കുറേ പേരാണോ ഇത് ചെയ്യുന്നതെന്നും കൂടി നമ്മളൊന്ന് ചിന്തിക്കണം ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ് ബി ഗോ ഇൻ ടു ദിസ് ക്യാഷ് മേക്ക് കോൾഡ് ആൻഡ് ആർട്ടിസ്റ്റ് Yes, if he has the same skill and pride in his pride as any other artist. And the same respect for it too. Mr. Gessler, a German shoemaker, settled in London, is a perfect artist. Read this story to see how he devotes his life to his art. Okay? Our introduction is the atelier. Even a shoemaker, an artist, is a perfect artist. ജീവിതം മുഴുവൻ അതിനു വേണ്ടി ചെലവഴിച്ച ഒരാള് അയാളുടെ കഥ എന്താണ് വല്ലാതെ ജോലിക്ക് വേണ്ടി ചെലവഴിക്കുമ്പോൾ അയാൾ എന്തായിരുന്നു ഈ ലെസൺ നമ്മുടെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ quality i knew him from the days of my extreme youth because he made my father's boots he lived with his elder brother in his shop which was in a small by street in a fashionable part of london so in the introduction itself they told you he is a german shoemaker but he has come to london to earn a life like ജർമ്മനിയിൽ നിന്ന് ഇങ്ങോട്ടേക്ക് വന്നതാണ് ലണ്ടനിൽ വന്നതാണ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് മാൻ ഹു ഈസ് റൈറ്റിംഗ് ദ സ്റ്റോറി ന്യൂ ഹിം ഫ്രം ദിസ് യങ് ഡേസ് വൈ ദിസ് ഷൂ മേക്കർ മേഡ് ഹിസ് ഫാദേഴ്സ് ഷൂസ് ഓൾസോ അപ്പം ആ ഫാദറിൻ്റെ ഷൂസ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന പോലെ തന്നെ മകൻ്റെയും സാധാ സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ കൊടുത്തു അങ്ങനെ അങ്ങനെ മകനും അയാളെ പരിചയമായി ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് മുഷ വെങ്ങാൻ ദ ഷോപ്പ് ഹാഡ് എ സെർട്ടൻ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഡിസ്റ്റിങ്ഷൻ There was no sign upon it other than the name of Gessler Brothers. And in the window, a few pair of boots. He made only what was ordered. And what he made never failed to fit. To make boots, such boots as he made, seemed to me then, and still seemed to me, mysterious and wonderful. I don't know if I can't tell you, but I can't tell you, but I can't tell you. Mr. Bethesda did, did advertise. There was not even a name for that. There were, there were no, uh, no many shoes kept on the 
who get kept for advertisement. Why? Because he made shoes only when they were ordered. इतने बातें करने के लिए बात हो शूज करने के लिए वो लोग नहीं थे ना शूज और बाढ़ प्रदर्शन के लिए चित्र नहीं थे ना कारण आया ना शूज पार्ने के मात्रे डाकी हो तो पक्षी इधर क्या आया नहीं थे लोग he was a wonderful man इतना कार्य हो they were perfect he made perfect shoes इतना इतने perfect है ना हमारा काल हमारा नाड़क को भाई तो इधर ही उठता दिल है ना मैं पौर में क्या मिलते हैं ना वो जो जरूर पूर्ण ना मिले काल में रुपए इतना दर्ज आते हैं लेकिन काल में सूट तब लाए थे पर शे इंगेन अंडर लोग मंचन नहीं लाए कि कहीं ना अत अतरे काल ने ये तो पाग पड़ते काल ने मुंडी लाए कि जब बोले एंड isn't it awfully hard to do, Mr. Gessler? And his answer, given with a sudden smile from out of the redness of his bed, it's all. And our language full through the lesson, it denotes the German accent of English. It's all. It's hard. It's all. Okay. So, uh, see. Uh, this boy once asked him, isn't it hard? Huh? Isn't it hard to be a shoemaker, to make perfect shoes, to live in such a place? Isn't it hard? The shoemaker admitted, it's hard. Okay, let's see what is hard. It was not possible to go to him very often. His boots lasted terribly. Having something beyond the temporary, some essence of boots stitched into them. That paragraph doesn't tell you much. It tells you, see, you don't have to go to him much more. You don't have to change your shoes if the shoes were made by him because they were perfect. Other than me, you understood. So if you have your shoes made by a perfect shoemaker, then you won't change your shoes. No. नमले चले दस का पूरी कई नए नमले अदन ने उन्होंने उन्हें सिंचे इधर डाल दो उन्होंने दो ना चले दस ने उन्होंने नमले इतना लगता है परफेक्ट आये थे ना उन्होंने हमारे बिने 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 टोडी की ले अदन ने कहा ना चेक करें सी वंस वन बी वेंट इन नॉट एस इनटू मोस्ट शॉप्स बट रेस्टफुली एस वन Waited, a guttural sound and a tip tap of his slippers beating the narrow wooden stairs, and he would stand before one without a coat, a little bent in leather apron, with sleeves turned back, blinking as if awakened from some dream boots. See, this paragraph tells you this man. See, if you are going to this man's shoe shop, we have to enter like as we were going to a church. Why? What is the comparison between this man's shop and his church? Have you thought of it? See, in a church, nobody will come and um, will come. Please come and sit inside. Will anybody come? I am going to go and I am Like that. Nobody will come and ask you to sit. Nobody will ask you to ask you, immediately ask you what happened. See, he will come when he sees you. He will come. Very slowly, without much, um, um, without much hurry, he will come and then ask. Papa, this is not that we can see that in modern shoe, modern world, we can do that. We are not going to carry it. 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 You got it. So here, clearly, he has explained the man. Uh, a guttural sound, <coughs> throat clearing sound, okay, tip tap of his slippers, then uh, a co a, he doesn't wear a coat, he is a little bent, he has a leather apron and with his sleeves turned back, that shows, you know, other sleeves turned back, those who work hard, so he was a hard working man with no shirt, with only an apron, and uh, he was a little bent always because he was working, maybe because of that. Then, and he had his sleeves bent back, okay? And he used to blink. Petta 
शूज रहेंगे ना तो फिर टाइट उन दांत का मन चिंदे अंदर लोग ना ओके एंड आई वुड से हाउ डू यू डू मिस्टर गेस्टर कूड यू मेक मी अ पेयर ऑफ रशियन लेदर बूट्स ओके विदाउट अ बोर्ड ही वुड लीव मी रोटेन इन वेंस ही केम और इनटू द अदर पोर्शन ऑफ द शॉप आ सेंटेंस इन अ जस्ट मीनिंग व्हाट इज दैट ही विल गो बैक टू द प्लेस वेयर ही केम ओके वर्किंग प्लेस ओके so he would uh, come back holding his in his hand a piece of gold and brown gold brown leather with eyes fixed on it he would remark what a beautiful bees what a beautiful bees see he was taking a leather and was looking at it okay he was telling what a beautiful bees when i too had admired it he would speak again when do what there And I would answer, "Oh, as soon as you can, me and he can." And he would say, "Tomorrow for night." Or if he wear his elder brother, I would ask my brother. So brother and brothers were so very attached to each other. So the elder man will just consult the younger one. Only that they have only both of them to work. Okay. Then I would murmur. Murmur means speaking a very low tone. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Gessler. Good morning. He would reply, still looking at the leather in his hand. And I, as I moved the door, I would hear the tip tap of his slippers going upstairs to the street of boots. So from these two paragraphs, he it shows that see, he he is never in a mood to talk to the customer, huh? to uh, make him attract to the customer. He was interested in only making good. So that is why he is always looking into the leather, leather and admiring. Okay, you understood the difference from modern um, advertising world of uh, shoes and the other one, the Mister Gessler shoes. That is the difference, and that was the reason for his pathetic end. I cannot forget the day on which I had occasion to say to him, Mister Gessler, that last pair of boots creaked. You know. He looked at me for a time without replying, as if expecting me to withdraw or qualify the statement. Then said, "It should have creak. It shouldn't have creak. It did. I'm afraid you got them wet before they found themselves. I don't think so." And at that, he lowered his eyes as he, uh, as if hunting for. For memory of those boots, and I felt sorry I had mentioned this great thing. Zard the car. He said, "I'll look at them." Some boots, he continued slowly. I'm back from both. If I can do nothing, we'll make them. I'll take them off your bill. Did you understand? That's the way he did. He was such a perfect man. See, one day, once, one day, the love, once, this boy. Had a shoes, a pair of shoes, with made by Mr. But Gessler, but it creaked so bad. Tanu kotti. So he once complained. So, na mula kade kare agai thora isa chappali le adan kotti ko ita bata na thari le adi bolle pa. But sadhar na pa mene yeh yaar no more excuses over yeh na yeh na yeh na. But she yaar ko adu bolliya yeh le. Mr. Gessler was very sad. He was shocked, and he wanted this boy to take that statement back. I mean, Ella, sorry, I'm not going to pay you any judge. But she didn't come back. Nila, can I tell you what he did? The first reason he told was he shouldn't have the creak like that because I made it perfectly well. Maybe you have made them wet before they get in the nanicit now. And that time, I didn't know what was in nanicit. I didn't know what it was. I was just trying to keep it down. I like it. But another reason I love it. Some boots. അല്ലേ നല്ല അച്ഛനമ്മമാരുടെയും മക്കളുടെ ചിലതൊക്കെ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ലേ ഇത് ഒന്നിന് പല തരത്തിലുള്ള കുരുത്തകേടുകളിൽ പെട്ടു പോകുന്ന അതുപോലെ ജനനത്തിലേ എന്തോ പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടാകും അങ്ങനെയുള്ളത് നന്നാവില്ല സോ ഫൈനലി ബോഡി ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ഹി വാസ് എ ഗുഡ് ഷാപ്പ് കീപ്പർ നോട്ട് എ ഗുഡ് പ്രോബ്ലം ഹി ഇസ് ടോൾഡ് ടു സെൻഡ് ദ ബാക്ക് ഇഫ് 
I cannot repair it. I'll take you off that bill in the other person and I'll go for check up. Then simple. Okay. Once I went absent manically into his shop in a pair of boots brought in an emergency and some large form. He took my order without showing me any leather and I could feel his eyes penetrating the inferior covering of my foot. At last he said, those are not my boots. The tone was not one of anger, not of sorrow, not even of contempt, but there was in it something quiet that froze the black. He put his hand down and pressed a finger on the place where the left boot was not quite comfortable. It hurts you there. He said, yes, those big words have no self-respect. And then, as if something had given way within him, he spoke loud and bitterly. It was the only time I ever heard him discuss the conditions and hardships of his faith. What did you understand? See, every time this boy who is writing this lesson and his father used to buy shoes made and buy shoes made by Mr. Fisk. But once some urgent matter came and he had to buy boots from a large firm and he went into Mr. Gessler's shoe with wearing that shoes. So the point when the Mr. Gessler looked at that shoes, he understood it was not his shoes. So, and he asked the boy, those are not my shoes. So the boy also, yes, yes, I had to buy it from some other shop. Maybe he told like that. Then what did Mr. Gessler do? He looked into the shoes and that's the point on the shoes where the boy was feeling discomfort. But he was telling, see these big firms have no self-respect. Happy. But 
for two years that juice lasted. So he didn't have to go to that shop. You understood? Okay. It was many months before my next visit to his shop. This time it appeared to be his elder brother. Handing a piece of leather. Well, Mr. Gessler, I say, how are you? He came close and peered at me. I'm running well. He said slowly, but my elder brother is dead. So after two years, when he asked, Hi, Mr. Gessler, how are you? He told, I am fine, but my brother is dead. So these brothers were very closely related. Okay. And I saw that it was indeed himself, but how age and what? He brother is dead, even sometimes. But he brother can't buy his own Okay. And uh, never before had I heard him mention his brother. Much shocked, I murmured. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, he answered. He was a good man. He made a good boat. But he is drunk. And he touched the top of his head where the hair had suddenly gone as thin as. It had been on that of the poor brother. To indicate, I suppose, the cause of his death, do you want any boots? And he held up the leather in his hand. It's a beautiful piece. Did you understand? See, uh, he touched his forehead. See, this man had a full of hair to be in the beginning. Now, maybe, uh, now suddenly after two years when this boy told so him, there was no hair. Maybe because when we are very sad and we are going to a sadder phase of life, I think hair will fall off. Right? Hmm? Hair fall will increase. <coughs> that was the reason for the death. Brother, I ordered several ways. It was very long before they came, but they were, uh, were better than they were. One, simple, one simply could not wear them out. And soon after, I went abroad. Did you understand, children? The seeing that uh, this boy ordered many pets, it took a long time for them to arrive. Adana must have guessed less than a prayer. Atreen dedicated I told him, he chose a train time at the end of the day. But that shoes lasted for a while. And apart from that, he had to go abroad. Okay. Boy and a young man, I didn't know. It was over a year before I was again in London, and at the first shop I went to my old friends. I had left a man of 60. I came back to one of the 75. Pinched and gone, who genuinely this time did not at first know me. Okay, see, this boy went abroad, this man went abroad. When he came back, when he had gone 60 years in life, no Lord, but say, Mr. Gessler, the issue of the Patra is and the Patra is a man's in the Chana. Namla, Shinam Dikimo, Duki Kimo, and Namla Prime, and now. But Tana did it at the number two. When you are brother, I said, I didn't know what she wanted, you were the Jason and Gold, two, Nana Pan. Okay. And he didn't recognize him. If I the Jesus, I was going to tough fight, tough fight, to very around the whole month's life. Okay. Uh, this man was pinched. Sadhana shoes are going to pinch that one. Pinch that one, then I'm going to eat you. I'm not asking you to eat you. Okay. I answered, please, please, I want boots all around, every kind. I had given those boots up. When one evening they came, one by one, I tried them on. I shaped it. In shape and in fit, in finish and quality of leather, they were the best he had ever made. I flew downstairs, wrought a chain and boasted it at once with my own hand. A week later, passing the little street, I thought I would go in and tell him how splendidly the new boots fitted. But when I came to where his shop had been, his name was gone. I went in very much disturbed. In the shop, there was a young man with an English face. Mr. Mr. Gessler is a German, okay? So you can identify quickly. English man and German women's like a little bit of clone on the way. Mr. Gessler in, I said. No, sir, he said. No, but we can attend to anything with pleasure. We are taking the shop over. Yes, yes, I said. But Mr. Gessler? Oh, he answered. Dead? Dead? But I have only received these boots from him last Wednesday week. But that is the thing. I 
then when he told about he did the rainier city and he ordered many shoes and every shoes when they got very long time to do let me say itappa atra perfect child okay but the next time when he came from abroad and he went to this shop ah she cheppu kanta payan konu poi nokkan go to nokke panna sini the new man came in, an english man and he asked what happened ഒരുപാട് <laughs> and uh, the lead said going on and on i say that for him not a man in london bear a better boot but look at the competition he never advertised would have the better best leather too and do it all himself well there it is what could you expect with his ideas but starvation that may be a bit flat yeah as the saying is but i know myself he was sitting over his boots day and night to the very last you see i used to watch him never gave him some time to eat never had a penny in the house all went in rent and leather how he lived so long i don't know he regularly let us fire go out he was a character but he made good boots yes i say he made good boots oh as to me la last paragraph ningal kaari maithu sradhikkam so that was the reason for us death thara nalla shoes undayirunnu ee yalku paisa illa nokka mattavanu manasile but starve to death na doctor vanna thara nanchu starve to death nu vanna tha aa bhakshanam kaikkanda 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 vendha thara kaikkanda avu kore game anta marichu po appo but i know he had money appo ee chekkan par ഞാനത് വളർത്തി പറഞ്ഞാന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്നത് ബട്ട് ഹൈ നോ എന്ത് ഐ ഹാവ് സീൻ ഹിം വർക്കിംഗ് ഓൾ ദ ടൈം ഇ ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് ഹാവ് മച്ച് മണി ഇൻ ദ ഹൗസ് ഹി മേഡ് ഷൂസ് ഓൺലി വിത്ത് വെരി ഗുഡ് ലെതർ വെരി ഗുഡ് ലെതർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് കോസ് മച്ച് വെരി സ മണി ആൻഡ് ഹി വോണ്ട് അലൗ എനി ബഡി ടു ടച്ച് ദ ലെതർ അയാൾ എന്നും ചെയ്യാൻ ചെയ്യും അപ്പം ഇറ്റ് ടു കെ ലോങ് ടൈം സോ ദ പീപ്പിൾ വെൻ ടു സം അതർ ഷോപ്സ് അപ്പം കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സ് ഇല്ലാതായി ഉള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ ടൈം എടുത്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് ആരും വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്തു സോ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദ റീസൺ അപ്പം എന്താ പൈസ കുറഞ്ഞു എല്ലാം കൂടി ഫൈനലി ഇനായി ബട്ട് യു ഷുഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഈവൻ ദാറ്റ് ഷോപ്പ് കീപ്പർ ഇസ് ടെലി ഇ മേ ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഗുഡ്സ് ഇൻ ലണ്ടൻ അതെല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയാം അപ്പം ദിസ് ഐ ടോൾഡ് യു ഇൻ ദ ബിഗിനിങ് നമുക്ക് ക്വാളിറ്റീനെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് കൊടുത്ത് കുറേ പേടിങ്ങൾ കാത്ത് നിന്നിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ അയാൾക്ക് ഈ ഗതി വരുമായിരുന്നോ it was a fault of the society to bear you and die me so when you come back in life you have to give importance to quality too okay thank you children